Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, consider subscribing. And sorry about that little snafu with the last video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, I uploaded the wrong version of it because I forgot I edited it on the PlayStation. And so the version of the Reaper video I uploaded didn't have the code. <laughs> so I apologize for that. I felt like an idiot. <laughs> anyway, it's up and running. It has the code in it. And enjoy. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to summon in, holy crap, what are they doing? Whoa. The uh, the Quetzal, sorry I lost my train of thought there because uh, they're trying to perform the Dragon Ball Z fusion dance and it's not working. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the Quetzal, probably my least favorite bird, or flyer I should say, even though this one's got an awesome mohawk. I love mohawks. If you uh, you haven't noticed, yeah, just uh, just a little bit, ah, just a little bit like those mohawks. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, no, enough of that. To summon in the regular one, fly around for a second, sh sh give you an orbital while the code's there. Yeah. Mr. Mohawk here. Zoom out a little bit. Code and saddle code for. For the uh, Quetzal. Doop doo doop 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 doop. All right. The reason why I don't like this thing is because he's he doesn't turn well. He can't back up on the land, and he just I don't know. I mean, he's good for carrying stuff. He's like a pack rat, I would say, like carrying all your your crap. And then for the Tech Quetzal. There's a tech, actual tech one. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting <clears throat> stupid throat. There we go. Oh, uh oh, I thought it froze there for a second. <laughs> Whoopsie. Anyway, there's a tech Quetzal, an actual tech Quetzal. And then there's a bionic, well, it's called the bionic Quetzal. I call it tech, whatever. <laughs> potato, potato. And then there's a skin of it, too. So if you want the actual thing to be the robot version or tech one, there's the code for that. I like using the skin more because you can colorize it and then put it on them. It's a lot easier to colorize. Pretty cool. This is just the basic one summed in. So there's the code for that and the, the skin. Go park him down here. And then I'll show you what they do here at the end if you, if you stick around. You probably get the code and you're like, screw you. And then this is the bone skin. The actual bone version of the Quetzal cannot be tamed. Although, unless you use force tame, you could do that. But then, sometimes it makes the game go a little crazy. Ugh. There we go. And doesn't like that very much. So there's the skeleton one. And the uh, platform saddle. I thought the saddle was a lot bigger. I don't remember it being so small. Hmm. Anyway, so there's code for that. I'm going to grab the regular one and show you what he does. Whoop. Oof. Alright, so when you're on the ground, he's got a fight attack. Looks like that's it. And when you're in the air, ooh. same thing, bite attack, and he can carry... Smaller dinosaurs. Let's see. Who do I want to carry here? I made this video before the PlayStation went uh, tease up. Tease up. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Alright, let's see. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, put me down. I was reading my book. Dang it. <laughs> that looks so weird. <laughs> Yeah, so you can carry dinosaurs for you. So let's say you tame a bear, and your base is up high in a tree or something, and you're like, man, I want to get my bear up there, and you don't have the Pokeball, you can just, and you manage to get to one of these things, you can just carry him up there and then drop him off. <laughs> it's like, you're going to time out. And then to drop him back down, you just press, ugh, the same button. So that was L2 on PlayStation. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. And stay frosty.